I'm just gonna get right into the video. Uh, I have everything in this cart, which is just temporary organization, but um, let me just get started. So the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I have an e.l.f. foundation palette, which I don't really use that much to be honest. I have all of these Maybelline foundations. I'm in the shade 228, but I have several shades for one of different colors. Um, I have the Maybelline Superstay, which is really good for if you have oily skin. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I have a CoverGirl foundation, and I have another e.l.f. foundation. And I also have all of my concealers here. I have ColourPop, Maybelline. I also have two foundations that you can't see. It's a Too Faced foundation and the It Cosmetics foundation. I have this BB cream that is pretty good, but unfortunately it's too light for me right now. I have this ColourPop stick foundation, but I kind of got the wrong shade, so I haven't really been using it. And then also I have in here eyelash curler and um, a brow gel, um, an eyebrow razor, and my favorite eyebrow pencil from ColourPop. This is freaking amazing and it's only $5, so if you're looking for a good eyebrow pencil, go get this one. Yeah, I don't really have too many foundations. I usually just stick to drugstore. And then here is my primers and my sprays and everything. So I have the oil-free facial moisturizer with SPF 15 from Target. Um, it's really important to wear that, especially if you're going to be in the sun for a while. I have the Maybelline that is matte. This is really good if you have oily skin because I wanna, when I used to work outside in like 90 degrees, I would wear this and my face would stay pretty matte for like 8 hours, so I recommend this. I also have the Smashbox primer. This is really good for big pores. I have some eye primers. I have this sample of Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is good if you have oily skin too. Then of course, the really expensive Tasha Primer. This is really good for if you have texture. It makes your skin look super, super smooth. This is like $50, but it's worth it. Pretty much it for primers. And then here I have a Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is really good if you have oily skin. I have the NYX Matte Spray. This is amazing. I have this spray that I actually got at TJ Maxx for really cheap. This is a vitamin infused complexion prep spray. This is for before you put on your foundation and I really like it. It refreshes the skin. Here I have all my powders. Um, I have a bronzer powder here. I have two Maybelline pressed powders. I have a Maybelline loose powder, which is really good. And my favorite, favorite, favorite collab loose powder. This is $15 at Sally's Beauty. And I highly recommend it. It makes your skin look so smooth and it's really good for if you have texture. I have it in the shade Porcelain Ivory. It's amazing. I have a ColourPop loose powder here. I also have my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. And then I have an LA Colors Contour Little Palette. In this bag here, I have all of my mascaras. I have various different mascaras. I have the Falsies, I have L'Oreal. This is a dollar mascara that I got from this website called Shop Masse. And then I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This one's really good to make your lashes really long. And then in here, I just have a bunch of sponges. And these are all pretty much from shopmissay.com. They're all a dollar. And then my favorite sponge, do not spend your money on beauty blenders. Get these, they work amazing. Super, super, super soft. That's it for this first row. I also have some fall seeds that I also got from shopmissay.com, the AOA Studios, and the shade Alexis. They're really nice. I just don't really wear false lashes that much, to be honest with you. Oh, also, I totally forgot to mention, I also have this foundation from Milk. It's supposed to be like a really, really light cover. Um, it has SPF 30. This is more better for if you have no acne, so. Now we're on the second row. Here I have my blushes. This is a Morphe blush, a Kylie blush that really sucks. I also have this blush from e.l.f. I have a Maybelline True Match blush that I like a lot. Milani Luminoso, it's like a classic. I have the Maybelline Highlight Master Chrome Molten Gold, it's amazing. I have this Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. I have another Wet n Wild Highlight. And then this $1 Highlight. I also have a mini sample of the Balm blush. I have this small blush that came in the Ipsy bag. It's really nice and shimmery, it's pretty. And then I have other highlights from Cover FX. Here I have a bunch of singles. It's the LA Colors quad. I have a bunch of little ColourPop um, 
single shadows. I have a glitter. I have some of the still love magnificent metal shadows. Really, really pretty and pigmented. I have a Milani blue shadow. So I have Maybelline, I have Melt, I have ColourPop. I have this random Jeffree Star one. I have some e.l.f. Um, I don't really have too much, but some of my favorites is the Melt. They're really, really pretty. This is the shade On The Go. Love it. It's like a staple. On my liquid lipsticks, I have Dosa Color. These are my favorite ones. This is the best formula ever. I have some Tarte mini, sample, uh, mini liquid lipsticks. I have one from Cougar, Wet n Wild, Jeffree Star, Elf. I have a lot. Um, definitely my favorite ones though is the Dosa Colors. In here is the most used, which is my lip glosses. I love lip gloss. This one's amazing to make your lips look really, really wet. This is the Essence Shine Lip Gloss. I have ColourPop glosses that I really like. I have this NYX Butter Gloss. I have this Buxom Gloss. This one's amazing. I have the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss. This one's really, really nice. It smells like chocolate. I have this L'Oreal Gloss. Perfect Nude Gloss. It's in the shade Barely Nude. Wet n Wild Gloss. And yeah, just random glosses, but my most popular ones are definitely ColourPop, L'Oreal, and NYX. Love those glosses. Also in this section, I have a random pair of lashes that I got from my, I believe, BoxyCharm, when I had BoxyCharm. And I also have these random uh, lip wipes that takes off your liquid lipstick from Bite Beauty. These are nice. Now for my last section, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes, which this is the biggest part of my collection and my favorite part. I have this Wet n Wild palette, this Makeup Revolution palette, which is a dupe for a naked palette, which works really, really nice. I have this Rimmel palette, which is a dupe for another naked palette, I believe. Or, yeah, I think it's a Naked Heat. My Modern Renaissance, which is like my favorite, which is like pretty beat up, as you can see. My Curly Bible palette so beautiful it has um the highlights and all the eyeshadows i love the packaging it's really nice pigmented i have this highlight and blush palette it's like my favorite ever it's amazing and it was on sale actually for half off when i got it so nice from bh cosmetics i got this as a gift love the packaging like so stunning it's called like boss and look at those colors so freaking pretty have this morphe palette my favorite palette also <laughs> as you can see i really like warm tone colors i lost the black but amazing morphe 3502 probably my least used palette by dubious place really really pretty the pan sizes are huge one of my favorite palettes of all time the jack and hill palette it's like a need in your collection if you don't have it in here i have a bunch of random palettes this is a Anastasia Contour Kit works really well. I got it at TJ Maxx actually. Dream Street by ColourPop. Good Sport by ColourPop. Two of my favorites. Four palettes from Bad Happy Beauty. These are affordable palettes that are dupes for the Huda Beauty. This one is super colorful, barely use it, but it's good to have. I have this Perfusion palette, which also has a highlight and a blush. Really, really pretty and pigmented. This was about $10, I think. It's also a dupe for another Huda Beauty palette. Really pretty. The Olimar Cosmetics palette. I actually wore this today. I love these colors. These are super, super pigmented and vibrant. Laura Lee Cast Pajamas. The most beautiful packaging. Nice neutral colors, a staple in your collection. This is a blush palette by The Balm. Really nice to have for all the different blushes. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Nervina palette. Love it. And then this was my very first ever high-end purchase by Lorac. I love it. This gold is so beautiful. I love this palette so much. It's nice for a nice neutral look. And that's all of my eyeshadow palettes. So now I'll show you my vanity. So on my vanity, I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Nude Lip Bundle. They're really, really good quality. I have the ColourPop Lip um, 
lip collection. It's the new theory. It's really, really nice. They're uh, cream lipsticks that like roll up. And then I have the terrible KKW Beauty lip loop. Here I have all of my um, lip pencils and eye pencils and just all of the pencils in there. I'm by Word today, which is the ColourPop Moonshot and the NYX uh, lip liner. I have this ColourPop palette. It's um, a cream formula for highlights. It's amazing. Called Crush on You. Really good quality. Here I have my beauty blender and this cute little holder from Shop Miss A. And this is a color switch also from Shop Miss A, $1. All my brushes here. Um, these two were from TJ Maxx, so if you want it, go there, check it out. They also have different colors too. I also have my makeup wipes on there, my lip balm, and then underneath I have Prism palette by Anastasia, the Subculture palette by Anastasia, and I also have this really big highlighter palette that I got from TJ Maxx from Makeup Revolution. So yeah, that is this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and comment below.